The Nasarawa State Chapter of the People's Democratic Party has accused the incumbent governor of the state, Abdullahi Sule, of sponsoring a protest by youths over the sale of the state liaison office situated in Lagos by the immediate past governor of the state, Umar Tanko Al-Makura. The party said the move by the governor was to embarrass Al-Makura because they were no longer political friends. The PDP chairman in the state, Francis Orogu, made the allegation in Lafia on Tuesday when reacting to a protest by youth groups under the aegis of Nasara Development Association in Lagos State. Orogu explained that the sale of the property was not a hidden thing, adding that almost all political players in the state were aware of it. Now, as the action that was taken before, this pronouncement you're making is just another conspiracy, criminal conspiracy to tarnish one or two persons' image. But they are all partners in this crime. None of them can play sense. Creating an impression about one person and leaving the rest is, a, is, 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 is just another, like I said, another, another conspiracy. Their intention is to expose one of them who have fallen apart with them because he's no more being treated the way he believes he should be treated or he has not received justice or good relationship from the authority that he aided to bring. In fact, I've said it before that hey, al makura need to apologize to Nasara State in citizen for bringing this kind of government. I said that before. He need to apologize to the state of the people of Nasara State because he single-handedly with other partners of crime brought this man. So his, if his intention was good or not, for now that he knows practically he has, the, 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 the intention has failed, he should come and apologize and say, I'm sorry, I thought the person I brought before you was going to add value to what I have done. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.